The law of segregation states that when gametes, either egg or sperm, are formed, the two factors in the parent cell are divided into separate gamete cells. When Mendel took a purple flower plant and crossed it with a white flower plant, all of the offspring had purple flowers. When he bred two of these offspring with one another, most of their offspring were purple. However, there were a few white flower plants as well. Now let's look at how this happened. Mendel believed that the parents, the purple flower plant and the white flower plant, each gave one factor to the offspring. Therefore, the offspring had one purple factor and one white factor. However, as purple is dominant to the white, all the offspring appeared purple. When the cell of the offspring underwent meiosis, its factors divided, or were segregated, into four different gamete cells. One purple and another purple. One white and another white. Therefore, when the offspring of this generation were created, there were various combinations. Two purple flowers created a purple flower. One purple and one white factor combined to create a purple flower. Or one white and one purple could combine to create a purple flower. Or two whites could combine to create a... Based on these results, what did Mendel think? From these results, he developed his law of segregation. Gregor Mendel developed the law of segregation while studying the traits of pea plants. After exploring generations of parents and offspring, looking at specific traits, he was surprised to find some common rules, now known as the laws of genetics, which govern how all traits are passed from parents to offspring. Created using Powtoon.